hello guys welcome once again till now we have made in our WPF application a login page which looks like this and when you enter a username and password and press login it says whether your username and password is correct and if it's correct it opens the second form which is blank right now so in this video I will show you how to uh, save data in the database in the second form so I will use this form to save the data in the database so let's see how can I do this so I have shown you in the previous videos that how can you make this uh, second XAML file and I want to give the same appearance as my main window so what I will do is in the second video I think I have shown you how to set the image background to your uh, window so go to that code and which you have set the image and just copy this image source and the source location the whole code from here in the grid section and then go to your second dot xml file and go here in grid once again grid tag and paste it here and once you paste this your second xml file will look same as your login page so this is setting your background now for saving the data in the database I need some text boxes and the button so I will take first of all from here text box one two three four four okay it's here and I will take four labels also for employee ID name surname and age and I want to assemble it in proper way so like this so now I assembled my labels and text boxes and I have given the labels employee ID or, or EID name surname and age so you already know I think how to change just go to the properties here and go to the content just select your label and change the name or content from here in a similar way I have selected this text boxes and I change the text box name from here so first text box name is employee ID e EID text second text box name is name underscore text third text box name is surname underscore text and fourth text box name is age underscore text so four text boxes and four labels I have taken now I will take a button and I will name this button as btn underscore save and I will change its content also as save so this button I will use for saving now we need to make first of all connection to the database with this page we have made the connection with the login page now we will make the connection with this second XML file so in my SQLite database I have these fields called EID name surname 
age user name and password so i have six field but i want to just save four columns eid name surname and age so i choose these four columns from here now i go to my program once again and i go to my the main window and here i have written the connection to the sklite database so i go to the code i just copy the code in order to save the time so you need this system.data.sklite namespace so just double click this save button and at the top just import this namespace system.data.sklite now once again go to your main xml file and here we have defined the connection to the database in the login page video so i just copy this same code for the connection our database name is database.dv and version of sklite is 3 so i just copy this string connection and paste it in my code here after this public second method so this is my connection now in here in the save button click event what i will do is i will first go to main dot xml file i'll click this login button and you can just copy the login page code as it is because we will just edit this code so it will be faster just copy all the code which you have used in the login page go to your second.cs file and paste your all code in button click event okay now in here we don't need this three if conditions so we delete this and we don't need this count variable so we also delete this so the basic code looks like this so here is the connection and in the first line of your button click event you are creating sklite connection sklite con is equal to new sklite connection and pass your configuration string or connection string from here so just copy it and paste it here and here we are opening our connection so sklite con dot open and here we need to change this query this time we want to save the data so what we will write here I will write double quote and then close first of all and here I will write insert in insert into your database name so my database name is here employee id so this is the table in which my data is there so i will copy the table name and go to my code and write here so insert into the table name and then we will give the table names so what table name we have in our database eid name surname and age so we go here insert into eid comma name comma surname comma age and then we write values here and we pass the values so give the bracket and here we are going to pass the value so we will pass the value in the same sequence as we provided the name here or name of the column here so first for the eid i will go to my XML, xml file i will select this eid text box name i will copy this text box name from here and once again go to the code 
and in here in the query value I will write this so this will be like this but we don't want to write this like this so write single quote in between double quote in between plus plus and then write here your employee ID text box name and here write this dot text box and after this text box name write text okay so we have passed the value for the first text box so it will go into this EID column in the same way I will make three other columns so I will write comma and then single quote double quote and plus plus and my second text box name for name copy the name for the name text box go to your code paste it here before write this dot and after write dot text okay two more text boxes we have so I will just copy these copy this code once again plus up to plus and paste it two times one and two and we already have this plus sign so I delete this and the error should go and here also we have this plus sign already so we and then just copy the name of the surname text box and pass here and the age text box and pass here so our query basically looks like this I will break it into two parts so you can see this or I will leave it same so I have written the query insert into employee ID and the column name EID name surname and age and then I pass the values for EID name surname so write values and pass all the values from the text boxes okay now I'm passing this query in the SQLite command as in the login page so this line I'm not going to change and then I have this create command execute non query this line will also remain same and we will leave this code also same in while loop we are not going to pass anything the most important thing in this code is the query so write your query correct now once you have written this code I think we are not going to use this while loop and this so we can safely delete it so we just have this code for saving our data so once your data is saved you definitely want to show the message that the data is saved so I will just show, show it in the message box so I will write message box dot show and then double quotes and I will write saved so I know that my data is saved into the database okay so write the query and write this code if you want you can pause the video and just write the code one thing I also forgot once you open the this connection you must close the connection also so the database is not busy with this connection 
so once you open the connection you just close the connection here you are closing the connection and you need to close the connections when you are in the login page so when you log in here and your login and password condition is correct and you are opening the second page where your count is equal to 1 just go after your message message.show username and password is correct and paste it here also your connection so you close your connection and then you go to the next page one more thing you can do is you can hide this page so you can write this dot hide bracket and bracket close so this will hide your login page and show your second page now when I run the program now so in my database I have this three employee ID one employee ID one employee ID two and employee ID three and I want to add one more employee ID so what I will do here first I will log in with my username and password which is correct and you see my previous form is gone and new form is open and now I will add employee ID 4 so employee ID 4 his name is surname and age and I press save and you see the message that my data is saved now we will check in this SQLite database so once you go to the SQLite database you need to refresh your database so one way to refresh this database is just go to this structure tab and just come back again and your data is refreshed and you can see whatever data we have entered it is saved in this database one more data if you want you can add for example 5 and his name is any name and age age is too much okay so we have employee ID 5 also and save it my data is saved and I refresh my database go to structure once again and my data is here once again so in this way you can save your data into the database using your WPF application okay so I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now